Today, the Compassion Society is opening their doors at their new location here at 1881 Fairview Street in Burlington. The organization has more than doubled the square footage that they have to be able to help folks who are food insecure and in need of a little boost. Let's go check it out. Hi, Aaliyah. Hi, Nikki. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm great. We can't wait to see your new place. Can you show us about? Well, sure. This is where the folks will be registering when they come in for food and for clothing. I have to pinch myself to make sure that this is not a dream. Um, but great. It's been a um, really challenging time, but a lot of opportunity, a humbling experience. But um, this is a vision that I've had since forever, and it's actually materialized thanks to the community. With the new location comes new hours, including Wednesday evenings for the first time. We could never get folks who were working, like 12,000 people in Halton who are termed as the working poor, living on or below poverty lines, could never make it to us. So we were literally sanctioning them because of our opening hours, which were like 12 to 3.30, and that's when people work. We will be expecting to see a hype of 20 to 25% expected because of our evening hours, because now people can actually expect to access us. Volunteers are key to the success of the organization. Volunteer with us. We need new volunteers because of our opening hours changing. You know, we have a roast. It's totally volunteer geared, except myself, who's on pay. There's no single body and heart here who is paid. Their hearts are in the light, right place. That's why they're volunteering their time. So all those high school kids who need their hours, walk into our space and watch us train you and get your hours going. All those folks who don't have any kids in school or kids to take for care of in the evening, please give back to your community and volunteer with us because this is the volunteer experience here. I can guarantee there would be no other place to volunteer better than the Compassion Society. You'd love the community here. And Aaliyah, I understand you had some very generous volunteers help you move into this fantastic unit. Who were they? We in, did, indeed we did. It was uh, kudos to the Burlington Professional Firefighters Benevolent Fund. They were amazing. The men and women that came in this space, you know, we couldn't have done it without them. The donation warehouse features two commemorative rooms, including a boardroom you can rent out named for volunteer Joseph Borelli, and a new break room named after longtime volunteer Roger Grist. He was a guy, a legend, who would go and get his cancer treatment in Hamilton and then come and volunteer for three hours. Wow, if that's not dedication, and he's passed away 2018, the volunteers and the clients still remember him. With the new location, there are some new hours, and they also no longer have the support of the Lions Foundation right next door. So please be more scrupulous in your donations. Don't bring things that are going to need to end up in recycling or a dumpster. They are certainly looking for sanitary items and bathroom items and any sort of food, especially with their new cold storage. You can make a donation Monday and Friday from 9 to 3.30 or on Wednesday from 9 p.m. to 7 at the Donation Center, which is right behind me. Signing off for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.